So Mama Jo is got her employees out here offloading all of the produce and she brought out the coffee pot and poured me a cup of coffee. Thank you, Mama Joe. Very delicious. Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 22. I am an old guy gaming and look what we got here. We've got ourselves some maters. We got ourselves some lettuce. And we got ourselves some strawberries. That's amazing. That is amazing. So, um, yeah, it is August the 3rd. I slept um, through, it, uh, through August the 2nd. Nothing happened on that day. Uh, check the sales, check the contracts. There wasn't anything left. Uh, let's look at the sales for the third and see if anything's changed. Uh, oh, yeah, we have had some changes here. Boy, this is, if I had some more money, this is tempting only because we always got to lease this stupid thing to do. Lime, 61% off. It's just that if I did that now, I, I wouldn't have any money left. Darn, that's bad timing, man. Uh, what is this? This is a cultivator. Um, yeah, just a little dinky cultivator. I wouldn't buy that. Um, and then we've got a Series 8 Dutes Far tractor. This is a medium tractor. <clears throat> I actually used this tractor, as a matter of fact, on the uh, uh, the last contract that I did. And it is it's actually a really nice tractor. Uh, but here again, <laughs> we don't have the money for that. Doggone it. Oh, there's something else, too. There's a case header. Ooh. So here's the thing, you guys. We've got to harvest our oats today. And that either, and the header that, the the Dutes Bar header that goes with our, our combine, it will cost me $30,000 to buy. Um, and I think it's only a six meter header. This is an eight and a half meter header. And it's half the price. The only question is, do, will this actually fit on a Dutes Far? I suppose if it doesn't, then we can just resell it, but we won't get the same amount of money for it. But if we can, okay, let's just double check things. So yeah, it does all the normal grains. Uh, and does it do soybeans? That's important because we're going to be planting soybeans. So this is wheat, barley, oats, canola. I think that's soybeans there. Okay, yeah, so it does do soybeans and it does sorghum too, if we ever plant that at some point. So, boy, I... Hmm. I think we should do this. I really do. And if it's a mistake, then, you know, we, 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 we learn that we can't put any header on any combine. Oh, boy. Let's try it and see what happens. Um, does it say anything at all? All it says is head, headers are attached to harvesters. It doesn't say you have to have a specific header with a specific harvester. Um. Yeah, all right, let's, nothing ventured, right? Oh my goodness, hope I didn't just screw myself over with that deal. Uh, okay, so we got a header. Uh, we need it, you know, that's the thing. We definitely need a header for harvesting our oats, which we're going to do today. Now, that brings us down to $18,000, but we have got a bunch of produce here that we can now sell. That's amazing. Okay, so... I think what we should do is, let, okay, well, let's look at the prices first. Now, in our, our role playing that we're doing, you know, with Mama Joe, we're supposed to be providing these to her, but I don't, I'm not so sure, <laughs> I'm not so sure Mama Joe wants, you know, like eight pallets of strawberries for her little restaurant. That might be a bit much. So I think what we'll do to satisfy our, our role playing um, is that we'll, we'll bring one pallet of each to Mama Joe. Because that should probably hold her in good stead for a while. And then, you know, we'll probably sell most of the rest of it to somewhere else for practical reasons, right? Because we just... Well, here, let's look at the prices. Maybe Mama Joe will buy all of this and she has her own solution for, you know, for storing the extra. Maybe she has some cold storage or something. Uh, we definitely don't. So, 
Okay, Mama's Joe's prices on lettuce is nine oh nine. Uh, the grocery store is nine thirty one, and then Johnson's and and the bowling restaurant are less. So, I think what we'll do is let's let's give Mama Joe a pallet, and we're gonna sell the rest to the grocery store since that's the best price uh, currently for the lettuce. Now, what about the maters? The maters are uh, best price. Mama Joe will get one pallet, and then we have. The bowling alley actually is given the best price on tomatoes at the moment. Okay. Um, and then for strawberries, uh, 243. So Mama Joe is actually giving the best price on strawberries. Okay. So we might take all of our strawberries to Mama Joe. Well, actually, you know what? We probably better just check with her. Hold on a second. Yes, Mama Joe. How how are you? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Hey, I have got some uh, amazing news for you. I've got uh, several pallets of strawberries um, here on the farm, you know, from our greenhouses that we installed. And I'm wondering if you have room for all of them, if you have maybe your own, like, cold storage solution or something, or, um, you know, if you, if you just want one pallet or how many how many would you like? You, you, you can take all of them. You do have cold storage? Okay. Very good. Um, just so you know, we are talking about probably somewhere upwards of 16 pallets. <laughs> so yeah, you can handle that. Okay, very good. Uh, I'll start. I'll, I'll load those up on uh, the flatbed and bring them right on over to you. Okay. Hey, um, can I order a cup of coffee to go too? By the way, and maybe um, you know, maybe a um, an apple fritter. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Sounds good. I'll see you in just a little while. Bye bye. Okay, so <laughs> Mama Joe's able to take all of these strawberries. Now, um, for those of you who don't know, we see we visibly see four pallet, or I'm sorry, eight pallets here, but there's actually about twice as many. So when we start picking these up, it's going to load uh, even more pallets. If we go into our our productions chain here and click on strawberries, we have over four thousand liters of strawberries, and this is approximately two thousand liters that are out here. Um, all right, so let's do this. Let's get in our tractor and load up our our forklift. Or, well, our front loader with the fork attachment to be more precise. Um, back up. Got to get my pedal set in the right position here. This is cool, man. We're selling our first batch of produce that our greenhouse has made. This is exciting. <laughs> oh, you know what? We, you know, hmm. Yeah, we'll get the header later. We'll get the header later. Actually, no, let's get the header now. I want to I find out if it's actually going to work. So let's do that first. And in order to do that, I don't have a header trailer, so we're going to have to actually attach it. Oh, man, I hope this works. I really do, because if it doesn't, <laughs> we just spent money on something we didn't we didn't need to be spending money on. I'm, I'm sure we won't get the exact same price back for it if we try and sell. Well, maybe we will. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, let's, yeah, let's head on down there and hope and pray that that header will work with this uh, combine. guys the moment of truth let's see what's gonna happen here please please work pretty please 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 work okay that's a good sign it attaches does it turn on you first need to unfold the harvester okay oh look at that you guys Praise the Lord, it works. <laughs> oh, we got a good deal on that. I'm so glad I, I held out, you know. I, I was just hoping, I was just hoping that, you know, the, the Dutes far header, which is only a six meter, 
would come on sale before we had to harvest. And instead, we got something even better. Oh man, that is just amazing. Sometimes things just work out in your favor. Most of the time they don't, <laughs> but sometimes they do. Okay, cool. Now, um, let's take this back to the farm and, oh man, I'm excited. This is great that this actually worked. And we got it for half the price of the dude's far header if we would have bought it brand new. And it's like two meters longer. Fantastic, man. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, yeah, let's bring this back to the farm. We'll, we'll drop it off, get our produce sorted out, and then we need to get these oats harvested. All right, we're going to just pop it down right here so it's ready to go when the time comes. Beautiful. That's just amazing, man. Just amazing. I mean, the chances, guys, of any header coming on sale on the very last possible day we can wait to harvest our grain is pretty low. Um, but we got one that's even better than the one you're technically supposed to use. So, yeah, <laughs> that is just amazing. In fact, you know what? We don't need to take the combine back to the farm. Let's even just park the combine over here for now. Because that's pretty much where we're going to start anyway, so. I still haven't come up with necessarily a solution for storage, but I think what we're going to have to do is, well, we have two options, really. We can either lease the trailer till December when we, or, I'm sorry, January when we sell, um, or we could look into storing at the train station silo, which is a suggestion that one of you guys made, a very good suggestion. So we'll have to just, you know, compare the pricing to doing that. Okay, cool. So back to the produce. Let's head on back over here. Our cotton's growing, our hay's growing. Things are looking good, guys. Things are looking good. Okay, so we are going to load up one pallet of tomatoes and one pallet of lettuce for Mama Joe and all of the strawberries. That's the plan. I think I'm going to try and get at these pallets from this end. It'll just, because then we can just kind of go down the line. Let's zoom in a little bit, get those forks down and bring them in. I would like to eventually invest in an, an actual real forklift for this because it's just going to probably be a little bit less uh, glitchy, I guess is the word. Okay. Oh, all right. I guess I need to get that up in the air a little more. There we go. Okay, you guys, well, I'm going to load, like I said, one pallet of tomatoes, and let's get that up a bit. One pallet of lettuce, and then everything else is going to be strawberries, and we're going to take these over to Mama Joe's. She's got some, some coffee and an apple fritter waiting for us over there, too, so let's hurry so that doesn't, doesn't get cold on us, man.
All right, we are ready to take our first, very first load of produce over to Mama Cho's. I, she said she's got room for all these strawberries. I think that's the most strawberries I've ever seen in one place in my entire life. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we'll leave that up to her though. And then we're gonna come back and grab the, the tomatoes and the lettuce. And I think we're taking those down to the grocery store. So let's pull on over to Mama Joe's. She's got some coffee, hot coffee and um, an apple fritter waiting for us. Not that my waistline needs an apple fritter, but my taste buds sure do. Uh, okay, so I think what we're just gonna do here is kind of pull right up to the loading area. And uh, we're currently sitting in $18,000. Let's see how much money We'll make off of all this. I hope this is close enough. Let's take the straps off. See what happens. Nope. They should they should have that trigger like all the way out here, not like yeah, they should, but they don't. Okay, so that means we're gonna have to uh, have I mentioned to you guys how much I hate backing up dolly trailers? Okay, it started taking the tomatoes there. I'm gonna run into that tree. There we go, okay. Oh man, this is, okay, this sucks. All right, I'll tell you what, let's, um, let's come at it again. I wonder if I could, no. Here, we'll, we'll come around again. I mean, it's taken some more, but that's a really dumb setup, man. They need to have that lo unload trigger way further out than it is. Of course, maybe maybe the, <laughs> the little tiny diner is not expecting such a huge load of produce, so that could be it too, I suppose. The game does have a pallet trailer specifically for this kind of thing, and it's a lot smaller, so it's probably easier to back that thing in there. Uh, excuse me, sir. Coming through. Okay. There we go. Now stuff is starting to sell. I guess we don't even need to unstrap. Okay. So Mama Jo is got her employees out here offloading all of the produce. And she brought out the coffee pot and poured me a cup of coffee. Thank you, Mama Jo. Very delicious. And she has also given me an apple fritter. Om nom nom nom. And we still haven't gotten everything sold. So we got to back these up a little more. I'm going to grab those maters. Really? There we go. <laughs> Okay, now we'll just pull the last couple pallets of strawberries up. You have to, I have to say, her employees are pretty fast at unloading. All right, there we go. Um, so just for our sale to Mama Jo, we're up to 20,000. So we made around two grand off of that. So not too bad. Not too bad at all. You know what I think I might actually do though? Um, I might set the greenhouses just to sell automatically. And the way I, you know, kind of think of that in a role play in real life situation is that we just advertise uh, on the internet and in the newspaper and whatnot that, you know, we have this produce for sale and then they come and pick it up from us. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I, it, it's kind of neat, you know, to, to load it up yourself and go sell it too. Uh, and that lets us choose the highest price at the time. But it's also a lot of work and... I might, like I said, I might get a real forklift at some point. How much do those even cost? I mean, let's just look. I'm not going to buy one right now, of course, but uh, if we go to forklifts. Yeah, see, they're not, like, really super expensive. Um, and something like this is just going to be a lot easier, or at least a lot easier for me to work with because the tractor front loader forklift is just it's kind of a pain in the butt. I'm not going to lie, kind of a pain in the butt. Okay, so let's get um, 
let's get the tomatoes and the lettuce loaded up. And I think, like I said, I think we're taking all of that to, to the grocery store. Let's look at the prices again. So we want to go here. Prices. So strawberries, 237. Yeah, well, at, well, we just sold strawberries, so we don't have any more of those at the moment. So it's lettuce that we're looking at. 929. Yeah, so the grocery uh, grocer Y Mart uh has the best price for lettuce, is offering the best price for lettuce and for tomatoes. We got uh oh four yeah, 482, the bowling restaurant. Okay, so we'll take the tomatoes to the bowling and the lettuce to the grocery store. Okay, so let's get that stuff loaded up. All right, we are at Grocer Weimark. And uh, probably the sell point is in behind the store here. There's like a little hot dog stand. If we hadn't just eaten an apple fritter, we might stop and get ourselves a, a dog. Oh man, I'm not gonna try and back this thing in here. If I really tried hard enough, I could do it, but I don't wanna work that hard. We're gonna probably get it bound up anyways. I guess we don't need to unstrap the cell, so let's let them take all of the lettuce here. There we go. Oh, we made $13.94. We made almost as much money off of three pallets of lettuce as that whole load for Mama Joe's. Man, lettuce is where it's at, baby. Okay, we'll have to keep that in mind for potential future expansion. All right, now um, we're gonna load up all of the tomatoes and take those up to the bowling alley. Okay, I have no idea what the bowling alley is going to do with this many tomatoes, but <laughs> they're going to buy them, so I guess that's their problem. Maybe they're going to have, like, BLT day or something like that. Why do they have an arcade game sitting outside in the weather? Oh, uh... Oh, hey, that's one of those thingamadoodles. One of those uh, Easter egg, egg thingies. At some point, probably when we, when I can afford the Gator, the John Deere Gator, we'll drive around the whole map and see uh, uh, and pick as many of these up as we can. I don't know how to get to this one though. It's not letting me do it. There's no, usually a you know that a little hand thing would show up to pick it up. Huh. Okay. Well, anyway, we'll do that some other time. There, there are some actually really neat areas on this map that you guys haven't seen yet. Um, and even a couple that I probably haven't seen yet. Uh, so yeah, we'll have one episode where we we'll just kind of drive around and enjoy the sights. Now this is the kind of loading area that we like. It's taking everything. We might have to uh, move the trailer forward a little bit. It is getting some of those back ones. This is fun, man. I am so enjoying this game. I know I say that a lot, but it's true. Okay, let's pull forward a little bit more. Those invisible workers, man, they're pretty fast at offloading. Gonna take the last one, there we go. All right, so let's take a look at our total sales for uh, for our produce today. Um, so we want to look at uh, sold products. All right, so we, we made uh, $57.20, $5,720 off of selling all of that produce from our greenhouses. So not bad, you know, not bad little money. 
Uh, again, if I set that up to auto sell, which I probably will as time goes on, you know, that's just going to be a nice little constant trickle of money that's going to come in. Um, and, you know, we'll occasionally have to refill it with water and fertilizer, but it seems like the water and the fertilizer lasts, you know, a decent amount of time. I mean, it's not like going down in one day. Uh, in fact, I know I should be stopping in the middle of the road, but if we look at this, um, you know, this is after we filled this up on August 1st. It's August 3rd, and there's still lots of fertilizer left in, you know, in these facilities and, and lots of water for that matter, too. So I ended up filling up the rest of the water off camera, too, by the way. I don't know if I told you guys that or not, but I did. Okay, so now it is time, my friends, to harvest our oats. I am so looking forward to doing this.